with FedEx for six years now. And it just shocks me that in 2024, I'm still being told that there are certain towns that I can't deliver in. And when I ask why, they say they're sorry um, that people are the way they are, but I can't deliver there. And it's crazy because when I first started in 20, I first started at FedEx in 2018. And my supervisor there, I was in Springfield, Illinois, and she told me, like, you can't go there. And I was like, huh? She's like, you can't go there. And I, I, I ain't too much think of it. And so I was delivering one day in a different town, and I had um, a late pickup. So I had a few hours to spare. So I'm like, I'll just drive over to the next town. It's like 12 minutes away. Like, I'll just go to the Walmart. You can always kill time at Walmart. I drive over to the Walmart. I walk in, and the looks I got made me immediately turn around go back to my truck and drive you know a little 12 13 minutes back to the town that i was in and i parked in an abandoned parking spot and i just sat in that abandoned parking spot for like two and a half hours and yeah she's like i'm sorry but that's just the way they are and then when i went to wisconsin i was cool i always delivered to the rural areas but then i had a guy you know talk to me crazy like just real crazy anywho and now I'm here and it's a route that I can't do because I'm black and it's not because I can't do the route It's because of how the people in that town act or how past drivers how drivers have been treated in that town um, the same color as me so now they just stick to putting people in that town that look like those people and that's so crazy because it's 2024 it's so crazy but yeah I want to give all praises and honors to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Raka Kudash double honors to the bishops the elders the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth. My name is Milkama. Uh, I'm going to entitle this video. It was born to be this way. It was to be this way. Not born to be this way, but it was to be this way. Okay, so you see this woman on the screen. You know, she's obviously an Israelite, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's a true nationality. And you know, a lot everybody's stuck on. They say they're black, you know, but it, it shows you that this has been indoctrinated in them to think that we are black as a, you know, as a color when this woman is obviously brown. But this perpetual hatred has been has been since. The, the you know the the beginning of our forefathers uh you know through Abraham Isaac and Jacob you know the the the, the birth of Jacob and Esau you know from uh, from Isaac and Rebecca you know they fought in the womb and these are the nations that that you call yourself black which come from Jacob and the white comes from Esau. This is a. Uh, this is what's been happening. Okay, let's go to uh, Genesis twenty-five. Okay, and twenty-one. It says Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And those two nations are you so-called blacks. And uh, to make it simple, the blacks, you know, so-called blacks. And whites, so-called whites, you know. Which we know these are social constructs of, uh, 
you know, saying who's who and, you know, no one's black or no one's actually white, okay? It says, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger. So the elder is Esau and the, and the younger is Jacob. So this is a prophecy that's coming to pass, that's about to come to pass, because we know at this time now Esau is in rulership. You know, Esau, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? It says, And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were ten, twins in her womb. And the first came out red, so-called white people, all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three scores years old, and she buried them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Okay, so, so they fought in the womb. Okay, and mainly what this fight is about today is the the birthright that the Lord gave Jacob, which, you know, going to, you know, how things usually, you know, uh, pan out, the older or uh, the elder is usually the one to get the the birthright, you know, but the Lord had it to where the Jacob received a birthright when he which he was the younger of the two. And this is a, a enmity that the Lord said he was gonna put put between the woman and the you know uh Esau and and Jacob. Okay, uh you know roughly paraphrasing. So it's this is a a, a perpetual hatred that Esau has for us. And, you know, not to make this video long, but I just really wanted to touch on that because a lot of people don't understand. Uh, as you see, as this woman here that knows the, the you know, so-called white man, woman and child, or the white race is the enemy to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Let's get one more scripture and we're going to go ahead and end it. Uh, let's go to, uh, is it Ecclesiasticus? Uh, like I think it's, is it 10 and 12? Or is it 12 and 10? So like 12 and 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. This is talking about the so-called white man. It says, And thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rush had not altogether been wiped away. And, you know, this is the saying because people think that, you, you know, this is like this woman here, she said, this is 2024 and we're still dealing with this. Yeah, because the Lord tells you, like an eyes rusted, so is his wickedness, meaning that, you know, no matter how long a time that you think it is, maybe that, you know, the hurt that Esau has or the hatred that he has for us is not never going to go away. You know, it says, you know, be, beware of him, you know, beware of him, you know, have your game on, 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 on tip top, top notch, you know, beware of him, you know what he's going to do. So, you know, don't trust him. That's why it says never trust our enemy. So we're going to end right there because I'm going to go in the plantation and, uh, 